So I found this book oh, probably about 10 years ago and um, in the library and I got a copy and I found it really inspiring and it's called The Cubist Epic by Douglas Cooper and inside there are lots of photographs um, and it's an explanation of the um, Cubist era and it tells all about how it started and the artist who uh, used this style and where it came from and what happened to it and all that stuff. My copy's been very much used as you can see. Um, I, I just really got inspired by this book at one point so I started doing some Cubist paintings and of course I had to do a very traditional Cubist painting using the guitar as a subject matter. I'm coming close so you can see it. And this is uh, acrylic on canvas. So then I did this one. And I was, at the same time, I was studying the color theory of Cezanne, uh, which I found really fascinating. And if you look closely here, you see how the colors jump out and this down here. So let's take this for example. Um, I, I didn't use any blacks or dark browns. What I did is I went from yellow to orange to red and then I used greens, blues, and purples as my shadow colors. All throughout this I used that theory of shadow and light. Um, I really like how the table turned out. And of course, this is a still life with oranges and a flower vase. And and the same with the blues. I didn't use white. I used bright yellows and to make the highlights. Maybe a little bit of white. So there's that one. And there's one more up here. And this one is more abstract, but it's a, there's a person in there, if you look closely. It's not coming close so you can see. See the eye and the face, but it's, this one's very abstract. And then again, I you you know I went from purples to blues up into yellows. And this also is acrylic on canvas. And then this one is totally abstract. Uh, and coming close so you can see it. And this one is acrylic on board. And recently I've been, um, I did this one uh, just like a month or so ago, and I've been trying to do what I did in that last painting just using pencil and I use these let me adjust the light here so we don't get so much glare on the glass I used um, 
these pencils called ebony pencils and they're very soft but you can get a lot of detail with them too and so this is just pencil on paper There's that one. And this one is of someone drumming. Um, at the time, my partner at the time was into African drumming. Djembe. This one's acrylic on canvas. And then this one is, um, it's a table with, you know, a bowl of flowers and stuff like that. This is acrylic on canvas also. So I'm trying to take cubism to my ideas and uh, at the same time use ideas that I'm um, in that book. I think, you know, I think everybody uses ideas from what people have done before and then you add your own individual style to it. So that's that one. And then this one, I sat in a cafe in Tucson and painted this and uh, over a period of, uh, they, they had open mic there and over a period of several weeks, I'd bring this and work on it. And it was one of the folk singers there. I'm getting close so you can see it. And this is acrylic on canvas, but I also use these uh, Letraset. Let me show you. This is Letraset for anybody who remembers that. They used to be how people set, it was one of the ways of setting type, and you put the plastic down and you rub it with a pencil and it uh, lays the image down on a paper. and. So I, I have some of those, and I used it for this painting. So that's a guitar player. And I have one more. And this one, um, there was a particular artist, a Russian artist, in that uh, Cubist book, and I really liked her style. I'm not sure I could find it really quick here. Let me see if I can find what I was talking about. Ah, there. And it's uh, Popova, and it's... Is that painting? Yeah. And so I, I was kind of riffing on that painting to do this painting.
And this is acrylic on canvas also. So, uh, let, let me show you one more. This is an old painting, and it it's not really cubism, I guess. It's more like Keith Haring, but um, they call it Human Being. And then it's, uh, it's acrylic house paint on board. And if you go to Home Depot and you get their mistake paints, sometimes you can get whole quarts of paint for a dollar. Uh, and that's what I use for this. And you can see that it's got real thick paint on there. But that, this was sort of uh, an entree into the Cuba style. It took first place in a show um, in Tucson. Well, I'll leave it at that and stay tuned. There will be more art to come. And